This video is about how to use different aesthetics for different layers in ggplot. And that allows us to use uh, information from different columns for different layers to make increasingly sophisticated plots. To do this, we need to better understand how layers and defaults work. We're going to start by having already loaded the Acacia data. And so far, we've put all of the information on the data and the mapping into the ggplot function like this. So we've said ggplot data is equal to Acacia. Mapping is equal to the aesthetic function x is equal to circ, y is equal to height, plus at the end of the line, and then geome point. So this is the main graph we've been making so far, and all of the information on the data and the mapping is in the ggplot function. This sets the default data frame for all of the layers to work with, and it also sets the default aesthetic for all of the layers to work with. And therefore, since we have geome point down here as one of the layers, it uses these default values. Alternatively, instead of setting the default, we could provide these values directly to the layer by including them in geome point. So we could make this same graph by starting with the ggplot function, but including no arguments to it, adding a plus, and then creating our geome point layer and providing it information on the data and mapping there. So we could say data is equal to acacia and mapping is equal to the aesthetic, where x is equal to circ, and y is equal to height. And so if we run this, we'll see we get the exact same graph. But now instead of geome point working with the default values, we're just providing it to geome point directly. And we can see that there aren't default values by now adding in another layer. We'll do geome smooth again. And when we added geome smooth, when we had defaults, put a line through the data. What do you think is going to happen now? Let's see. What happens is we don't actually get a line through the data at all. And the reason for that is because we haven't given Geome Smooth any data to work with. We've said fit a line through nothing. And so uh, we don't get out any lines. So data and aesthetics are only shared across layers if they're included in the ggplot function. And we can use this to combine different aesthetics for different layers. And so let's see a somewhat common example where we want to fit a single model to all of our data relating circumference and height but we still want to color the points by the treatment so that we can get a visual idea of whether or not there's treatment effects happening uh, in this relationship. We can do this by adapting the function we've already started here. We know to color the points, we need to add color equals treatment to this aesthetic. And if we run that, we'll now see 
uh, that our points are colored. But now we need Geom Smooth to actually fit something to the data. And so we still want the data source here to be Acacia. It's the same column. And now we want a mapping. And we want our mapping to have x is equal to circ and y is equal to height. But we don't want to create separate lines for each treatment. In other words, we don't want to color those lines or group them based on treatment, and so we can leave that out of the aesthetic. And now if we run this, what we'll see is that we have one line fit through all of the data, and I didn't give it an optional LM argument, so it's just a, a low S smoother here. But the data is still colored by point. And so we've given different aesthetics to Geom Smooth and Geom Point, and so we get different behaviors uh, from those different aesthetics. Geom Smooth goes through all the data, Geom Point gets grouped and colored by treatment. We can take the common parts of these different layers and put them into ggplot if we want to. And so we could say ggplot data is equal to acacia, because that's common across the two. Mapping is equal to aesthetic. x is equal to circ. y is equal to height. And then we could only change those if we want to change them for a particular layer. So for geome point, we could then add to the aesthetic by saying mapping is equal to AES, color is equal to treatment. And then for geome smooth, we don't actually need to change anything because we just want X and Y and Acacia. So we can say geome smooth. And if we run this, we'll see that we get out the same result. And the idea is that anything that's in ggplot will get used unless it is overridden by something in the individual layers. And so there's no data in either of these, so they use data equals acacia. There's no definitions of x or y for the aesthetics, and so they both get used in both of these layers. But in geome point, we add an aesthetic for color, and so that gets added in, and therefore our points get colored. So that's the idea behind how to use different aesthetics for different layers. We can simply leave the aesthetic and even the data definition out of ggplot's main function entirely and provide them directly to the layers, allowing us to do different things in different layers. If we want to, we can provide all of the fairly constant things, the things used by most layers, in the ggplot function as the defaults, and then only override them as needed to change things for a particular layer. How's the delay? The the delag, the delay, the laggy, 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 the